Hello and welcome to a very spoopy edition of Pop Samurai. <laughs> I am your host, Will Walkie, along with my fellow hosts, Critical Joel. Designer Awash. Ooh. It's your boy, Jelani Hill. And tonight, you have joined us for a uh, self-made campaign of the RPG Dread, run by me nice. and subjected to these three over to my right. I want to thank you for spending your Halloween evening with us. We really appreciate it. If you want to learn more about Pop Samurai or engage with us other places, uh, you can find us at Twitch. Uh, dot tv slash pop samurai network which is where you are right now shock aw uh you can also find us on twitter at pop samurai cast pop samurai network on facebook and instagram and pop samurai network.com and don't forget to drop us an email at pop samurai network at gmail.com yeah, yeah yeah that's right email <laughs> <laughs> It always it's, scares me. I, uh, I don't no. like emails at all. I don't want to open it. Really? Like the Terrible. I don't know. That scares It's, it's you. bad. Yeah. Uh, how is everyone feeling on Excited. this? Excited. Snowy yes. Hallow's Eve. Dreadful. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. It's not going to get any better. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, we want to welcome everyone who's out there watching to chime in on the chat. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, but for this, we will mostly be immersed in the game, so we might not respond right away. Keep that in mind. So, uh, are you guys ready to begin? I have told them literally nothing about this game so far. <laughs> the gloves are off. The gloves have come off. She's ready to go. I'm ready. Uh, good. I will get us started post haste. Wake up, you hear from beyond the darkness. It smells like, no, it stinks like stale hot dog water. You open your eyes. And you can tell that they're being obscured by something. You quickly realize that your head is within a cloth bag, blotting out any chance for you to see. I said, wake up! And you feel a strong contact on your chest as whoever this voice is smashes you to try and re to uh, wake you from your slumber. You squirm and, and let out a yelp, but it's muffled by the bag. And you feel the constraints of belts around your chest, your waist, and your ankles. What do you do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Shit. Oh, oh God. Um, hmm. So he he the voice hears you mumbling incoherently. He realizes that he will never get anything out of you in this fashion. So he rips the bag off of Jelani's head, mm. sensing that he is oh. uh, the most receptive uh, of are you we all. all. In the same area, uh, Jelani I'm looks around, around. The light around. <laughs> burning into his eyes like he's Burns. just opening them for the first time in a while. He starts to make out his surroundings, and he sees the makings of a sterile, improvised laboratory. He can hear gas hissing. He can hear uh, electronics whirring. Mm -hmm. And the man he sees looks gaunt. Uh, he's wearing basically rags uh, on his person. You start to piece together that you uh, don't remember where you uh, last were, but you know it wasn't here. Oh my God. I'm in Frankenstein, guys. Oh, thank you. I'm in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Have you ever seen that movie? Okay, shut up. Oh shut up. We don't have time for this. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't one of them. I'm... He starts quickly uh, clawing at the belt on your chest yes. and it comes apart. Have I been, have I been, uh, am I, am I all me? Is it, I'm looking around. 
And am I stitched together? No, you just look like a dude. Shut up and <laughs> help me. He finishes uh, your leg straps, so all you're left with is your waist belt. Okay. And he moves right. on to the okay. next table, uh, which is you. <laughs> mm-hmm. So at this point, I hear that he has been okay towards Wade, so I kind of make some noise. Okay. Because I still have the bag over my head. So he he like, pulls the bag off of your head as well. Mm-hmm. I probably scream because <laughs> I'm not <laughs> expecting him. Oh, God. Would you shut up? You're going to draw them here. Draw who? I don't have time to help you with your memory. Just help me get these belts off. He uh, takes the one off of your right hand. So you can start helping as well. Okay, so I'm taking my belts off. Mm -hmm. Uh, Guys, this this laboratory is amazing. (laughs) (sighs) This laboratory is a nightmare. We have to get out of here immediately. I start to groan because I'm waking up from a wicked hangover, apparently. (laughs) Uh, He turns and and you two see him looking at uh, this other person very uh, confused uh, very cautiously, he does not immediately go to take off his bag. His bag. Mm. Yes. The hell am I? What is this? <sighs> okay. You're good too. And he rips off your bag and starts fiddling with your straps. <laughs> oh, get me out of here. I gotta breathe. <laughs> Just Ooh. as you say that, uh, you have not been freed yet. Oh. <laughs> uh, you hear th- a, a metal, not a metal, uh, sort of a klaxon, mm-hmm. uh, an a- electronic alarm going off. It's blaringly loud. Uh, you can barely hear yourself think. And then you hear a voice over the loudspeaker of this laboratory. I see you couldn't just stay still and let this happen, Jenkins. I thought we shared a vision, but now I see that I must dispose of you as well. No matter, I will still make it through this fine. You, however... (laughs) And you hear uh, uh, some sort of a switch over the loudspeaker. And then a roar from the far side of the room where a uh, sealed door is. And you start to hear banging uh, as, uh, as, he, as the line goes silent. Mm-hmm. The banging is intensifying. Am I free from my... Uh, from my... You are free. All right. I'm also free. I, I, I get up, I get everything together, and then I uh, rush over to try and help whoever is not uh, yeah. uh, free. Help me. We both rush what the hell is this? There, is there is, uh, so you see, um, I'm saying this because I know his name because I checked beforehand, but you three do not know this yet. Uh, you see Eddie over there on the table. You also see a second row of three tables uh, and an open door opposite the one where the banging is coming from. Are the tables empty? Are they just? They they're, they're are just also empty. full of bodies. Are they? There moving? is a there is a body on each of them, and they are all moving. Are they speaking? Are they moving? Or are they like? Are they? Uh, doing they stuff? have not sp- spoken words yet. No. Okay. Uh, so I'm rushing to help unstrap him. Okay. Over. Oh, Jesus, Who is this guy? You. That uh, uh, his up, name, oh, name is your name is, is Jenkins. Yes, that is my name. Enough of the introductions. Let's get out of here. How do we what get out of here? these guys? Was that... G- grab them if you can, but he knows we're down here. We have to go. Is that Frankenstein? No. Not confused with Frankenstein's monster. Is that what's knocking on the wall right oh now? Oh, my God. Why <laughs> did I free you first? I don't know. Let's you were go. supposed <laughs> to speak coherently. <laughs> run, run over and we like to help rip off these, these restraints well, and let's uh, go. Get me out of here. I'm actually poking one like, hey, are you okay? Uh, it starts to writhe. Uh, and then you see it like ripping on its straps to oh, the point go. where you, <laughs> see, you see its skin starting to uh, sort of come apart Yum. where these straps are. 
Sweet. Well, all right then. Let's go. Leave We gotta go. Wait, wait! Don't forget about me. You hear one of the ta- one of the subjects say. Which what? table was it? Okay. Which, which table was it? Was which one was it? Uh, it's not. Say the something guy. again. That's say something again. Question. Whoever said that, say something again. Over here. All right. Let's, let's you go. hear as. Uh, as he's speaking, you also hear the sound of twisted metal as the far door starts to cave in. Oh. All three of us, let's unhinge this guy and get out of here. Yeah. So we're we'll, quicker. Yeah, we go over there together. We, like, we, we we'll together, like, try and sue. And okay. Uh, Joel and Amanda, make your first pulls from the tower. Okay. Ladies first. <laughs> in case you're not familiar with Dread, the Screen idea is that this way. is a freeform RPG where they can make whatever decisions they want. But once yeah, they start they making that. decisions you're not, that you're, put you're them in to, danger, uh, they have to start tower, pulling Jenga tiles from the tower. The tower, the tower out, falls to, and the person yeah. fails miserably Starting and wow. dies. Crazy. Just in case. Okay. Really so you have succeeded... Yeah, you can poke and prod and do whatever, okay. but as soon as you start pulling one, yes. you're so committed. has okay. Joel. So, uh, as you two get in between these tables and start fiddling with this guy's belt, uh, Jelani is on the opposite side of the table with Jenkins. The one that you poked rips off his uh, hand restraint oh, and starts clawing at the two of you. You're able to get out of his grasp just in time for neither of you to be Whoa, hit or grabbed. What the grabbed. hell was that? I don't know. Uh, you still go. have not taken his bag off. All you know is that he is flailing at you. Okay. God, I want to. Let's get this guy and so go. We, Come we on. Grab him. Like- uh, you we're, are we're still. The guy you are still spoke, working right? on the other guy. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you have almost gotten him uh, undone. And the door caves in. And you see pouring through it these humanoid figures. But you notice that their eyes are glowing bright orange. And and parts of their skin have... um, They have this kind of green tint to it uh, that reminds you a lot of like wires or circuit boards. Oh, God. Uh, and so now they are starting to pour in and run at you. Would you like to continue trying to free this person? (laughs) Um, how far free is he? Uh, he has two of the straps left. He has a foot and he has an arm, uh, that were the ones that you two had to abandon to not get flailed. So... Could Jelani pull to right. try to see okay. if he can be right. successful? So, so this is what I'm going to say. So they're they're working on it right now is what is happening, right? And I'm with Jenkins, right? right yes. Now. Um, it's a laboratory. Right. Do are those are they like are do I see mm. a stool like a stool? Yes. There, or something like that? Uh, there are several workstations around you. There are various a uh, surgical mm-hmm. tools. Uh, uh, there's uh, rubber uh, tubing. Yeah. There's... Can I like just can I pick up a stool like? WWE style, like uh, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin used to do, and I just start swinging it around like this, and I start like trying to hold them back, or, like for them to get, buy them time to uh, undo the straps. Uh, sure, you do that. Uh, pull me a pull me a tile. Sorry. Get yeah, I know. Away. I might have to start setting up. Oh, this is gonna get delicate real quick. What I want to do? Oh, oh no. Uh, that's a good one. Good idea. Oh, oh god. Oh god. All right, let me. Let me go. Let me reach over and grab this one out. Oh, oh no! Way <laughs> to go, Wade. Okay, alive. so you are able to uh, undo <laughs> both of the belts <laughs> while Jelani is fighting them off. Uh, you you notice that they are not just running directly into uh, into harm or into danger, you are able to sort of fend them off with this swing. So they're they're staying just out of your range. Uh, and I'm assuming that... Uh, all right, so let's say Jenkins and uh, this other person who you don't know, they immediately bolt for the door. Mm-hmm. So they are now on the other side of this open door. You three are still in the room. What are you doing? 
uh, follow uh, we'll follow. and run door. Okay. Like, wait. You two make it out of the door. Yeah. Uh, how are you? Are you carrying the stool with you? No, I'm gonna throw it at them and then bolt. Is what I'm trying to do. It was like, uh, okay. uh, you chaired, and I <laughs> run for. Okay, you see them all <laughs> dodge it very quickly, uh, and as you turn tail and run, they are right on your heels. Uh, Jelani, pull another tile. Oh me. God! Oh. Bye, everybody. No. All right, uh, if you knock it out in the first, oh in the gosh. fourth move. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you yeah, are sure. able to just <laughs> make it through the door. Jenkins slams on a button and the door closes. And you hear this heavy beating on the other side of the door as they all... Uh, arrive at it at the same time and smash up against it. You can tell that they're aware of pain. Uh, they just have a certain tolerance for it. Uh, they might not take a chair, but they will gladly uh, be in a mosh pit. Bump into a wall, yeah. <laughs> well. Yes. Uh, so now you are in a very dark hallway. Um, it does not look pristine and sterile like the inside of that lab uh it's very dusty very dank uh there's a little bit of light pouring in from a broken uh uh skylight on top uh it's a very big room and it seems like this uh laboratory was just a tiny subsection of it you determine that it's some sort of a warehouse Jenkins turns to you and he says, how long have you guys been here? I don't know. I don't remember. I can't remember anything since yesterday. What do you, what, you listen, sure that's great. Yesterday? Let's try it out I don't with even you. Know. What do you remember? I know that I got woken up three days ago. Before that, I hardly remember anything. I remember the world going to shit. And then I blacked out almost immediately. Okay. Do you know the guy on the speaker? Yeah, I know him. That's a long story. You don't even remember what happened out there? No. Wait, what happened? What do you mean? Basically, those things are the result of an experiment. They're everywhere. And we're, we've got to get out of here because he seems to know how to control them, which I was never able to figure out how to do. Oh my god. So it is like Frankenstein, but they've taken over. <sighs> okay, sh just spare me your nerd bullshit, okay? We have to figure out well, a way I mean, out of that's here. That's not very nice, but okay. <laughs> Can we open that door He's and throw him life. back you in? Gotta go. <laughs> Can we throw him back in? Um so you basically you're all sort of quibbling here and you hear the loudspeaker come on again. Oh, so now you've gone and made a mess of my laboratory? That wasn't very nice. I'll see to it that all of you get what's coming to you. And it, and it turns off, uh, but you hear another switch flip, and all of a sudden the lights in this warehouse turn on. Uh, it looks like it's been abandoned for some time, months, maybe years. There's refuse stacked in piles everywhere. Um, and from where you are, you cannot see any sort of an exit. You just see this hallway uh, going forward and wrapping around what was the laboratory. I don't know if I like The this pounding guys. continues on the door. We have to get away from the door. Well, let's, yes, let's get away from the door yeah, and it wraps let's back try and find an the, exit, guys. It wraps around to the other side where the door is broken, right? It okay, wraps around so, the back of the lab. So, like, so right. as you guys are discussing this, you start to hear Yikes. the creaking of the door hydraulics. Yeah. And you see like, fingers windows, windows. starting to peek yeah, through. Windows? Uh, the only light that there was before was coming through the skylight. You don't see any windows in this hallway. And is there enough refuse to climb up? 
Uh, there is not. It's okay. loose wood and uh, insulation, cardboard, just things that look like they might have been used for building and construction. Fortnite, Fortnite. Well, uh, <laughs> oh man, let's. How about we just get away from the door for now and then like see if we can find a spot to hide and figure out what's going on. All mm-hmm. right. Uh, let's just start moving. Okay, like... so you start moving away. As you do that, you hear a a, a horrifying creak. As the door gets pried far enough for an arm to lunge through. Uh, Joel, pick a tile, please. Yikes. You know what? I'll just get up. We got too much coffee at risk here. So much coffee. But it's so good. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, I can only use one hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a great uh, photo of Joel's backside <laughs> that we're getting right now on the stream. Uh, if you if you want to see more of Joel's backside, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Twitch.tv slash This is what we're all about. We're about pleasing the fans. And he's going to love this. Fan, fan service. Okay. You successfully dodge the uh, arm that Whoa. swings out uh, and grasps at the air. I'm an agile urban explorer the person that you freed is not so lucky it swings past joel and grips this other guy by the shoulder he tries to tug away but uh the grip gives no uh it doesn't give at all instead it lurches back uh and rips him halfway into this opening that's about three inches wide uh he absolutely just like peels into this doorway and you hear the sickening sound of flesh being rend away from bone we have to go right now yeah uh he he barely has time to scream in agony as the other hands wrap around him and draw the rest of him into the laboratory uh as you are running you turn the corner and you find a window it is back into the laboratory you do not want to look nope uh, so well, now that do. you have now that you have made this turn, uh, More you can mouth s- noises, please. <laughs> Get some foley work in this. <laughs> mouth noises. <laughs> ah! That's the best I got. He, they <laughs> squeezed a fart out of him too. Mostly blood, <laughs> also a fart. A bloody oh, fart. So yeah, <laughs> a bloody <laughs> fart. Thank you. Uh, so I'll now you've this. turned this corner. Uh, and you see how wide open uh, this warehouse is. Um, there's not much to it. It's basically a big, uh, it's a big holding area with crates and pallets stacked very high, forming aisles uh, mm-hmm. that you can't see over. The only thing that you can make out is a sort of walkway with a office on the top that has a light on. Um, so you, you you look out, you see these crates that form aisles and the supervisors, the overseers headquarters. But no garage door or anything like that. You can't make them out from behind the crates yet. I see, I see. Can we climb the crates? You can try. You wanna give it a go? I don't know if I'm good at that. Oh. Or do we wanna try to get to the office? Well, I mean, the office might. The office seems like the place where the guy would be doing the announcements. So I mean, I mean, maybe we don't want to go there. I don't know, but then at the same time, he's controlling them somehow. So maybe we could, like, you know, call. I'm going to try to climb the crates. Okay, Uh, pull me a tile. Okay. Oh God. Now, at this point, though, the creatures aren't keen to us being the other direction. They have not figured you out yet. All right. They are too busy doing what they're doing to whatever that guy is. Glad we saved him. Okay, you are (laughs) able to start climbing the crates. Uh, As you do, Jenkins looks at you and says, what the hell are you doing? We have to go. Uh, And as he punctuates that sentence, uh, you start to see 
orange circles from through that window mm -hmm. uh, as they start to notice that there's movement. Run across right. the top towards the exit. That's what I was trying to just see if I could or towards see anything the other side. Yeah. You are about a fifth of the way up one of these stacks. Oh, they're very tall. Oh, okay. jump down. Cool. We'll catch you. Yeah. Right, let's take go, let's... take the row with you. So let's you go, guys. Slow them down. Uh, you so you're you're getting back down. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Draw another tile. Oh my god, god. you guys. <laughs> This is so dreadful. Oh no, she's trying to set us up for failure. No, I'm not. It was just easy. Okay, so you you land and your your knees sort of give you. You don't buckle your knees. You're able to actually just land gracefully. Um, Jenkins leads you around the corner, and now you're in this maze of crates. Uh, it's dark, but you don't sense that anything is coming at you at this moment. Uh, to one direction, you see uh, a corrugated metal wall, uh, which you assume is the wall to the outdoors. Uh, down the other direction, you can see what looks like some sort of a walk-in freezer, uh, but it is past the laboratory. So there's a chance as you're heading towards it, you might be spotted by the horde of what you were able to ascertain is about a dozen of these things chasing you. Okay. Look, if you really don't remember what's going on, I can fill you in, but not here. All right. Jenkins, uh, where do you think we should go? Well, like, which way? What's what's the best way? You've been here for a couple of days. What's, what have you explored? I mean, everything here is built well. We just have to put something between us and them. They, their, the their senses aren't as good as ours are. Knock down the wood crates <laughs> or the pallets. Do you want to try and do that? We'd at least, I mean, they can crawl over them, but if they're stacked so high, there's going to be a lot of them coming down as we go running and pulling them behind us. They'll know where we are, but it seems like they already know we're here anyway. Oh, Vote. That's, I mean, that's, pro that's probably, that's, that Slow sounds down. like a plan. I mean, let's do it. It's a I plan. Mean. Okay. <laughs> Give it's me like a knocking pull. stuff down, you know, behind land. us while it's we're going. So you are trying <laughs> to knock over a pile of crates in order to block the entrance so they can't come get you. Oh, that's so tense. <sighs> you start shoving, and it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, you dope. shove a little harder. <laughs> And uh, Jenkins can see your desperation. So he gets in there and he gives a great big shove too. Uh, it takes both of your body weight, which isn't much, but the crates do start to tumble. And as they wiggle and wobble, uh, you can hear the sound of feet on the other side of them. Um, Jelani and Amanda, I need you both to pull so jenkins is a brawny man you he might is say. not he is very gaunt I if see. you recall i was hoping you might <laughs> now is your time to shine placement. this is my costume it was easy <laughs> okay Cast me. Cast me. there you go oh. Make that top real heavy quick here. Yeah. <laughs> What's the rule of every anything below the first three rows? Yes. Yes. Basically. Okay. So crates start to fall everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Evelyn and Wade. No. Yes. yes. Uh, Evelyn and Wade are able to dodge the falling crates and finally... Uh, Eddie and Jenkins are able to shove over a pile which lands in front of this door blocking the way. Uh, so right now, as far as you know, they are blocked off. Mm -hmm. Yes. <sighs> it worked. Okay. So you guys just remember the world as normal? Uh, as far <sighs> as I know. Yes. I, I hate to tell you this, but... Nine to five. <laughs> we did something... Bad.
and bad things happened and a lot of people got hurt. Oh no. We were trying to help. I swear we were trying to help. We were part of a program that was involved in nanotech. We wanted to give people immunity from any sort of harm, any sort of danger. We saw a world where if you got hurt, you wouldn't have to call anybody. You would just be healed instantly. Mm-hmm. We were developing an AI nanobot that would self-replicate and would just be wherever you were whenever you got hurt. And it would just heal you instantly. You get a cut, the nanites come in, they seal it up, they push it together. You break a bone, they set it, they jump, uh, they form around you and form an instant nano cast. It was my life's work. And I was so close to being ready but my partner couldn't wait. So he released the nanites. Oh no. And they started replicating and they saw that the only way to truly protect humans was to take them over, Mm. was to make the decisions for them so that they would stop using their free will so recklessly. So you skynetted us? (sighs) God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. No. This is real shit, okay? We were going to make a better world. And now anybody who hasn't been taken over is a threat to the nanites. So we need to somehow get out of here, away from my partner, who's figured out, who's cracked the code and learned how to control them. And we need to get as far from all of this as possible. So here's a question. If people are getting infected by nanites, um, how is it that we're not not infected by them? I don't know. I don't know where you all came from. How many people have been infected? The The replication rate wasn't something that we fully had figured out yet. But it hasn't left this facility. Yes. I mean, do you it, know? Do you know? I don't. I don't know where we are right now. Do you we know why you're them. not infected? Yeah. I wasn't there when he released them. Okay. I would have stopped him if I could have. This was all about two weeks ago. They could have gotten who knows how far by now. Jenkins, man, get a hold of yourself. Tell us what. What can we do? Can we get to him? Can we get to? A control system? Where where are we in the scheme of... If I had to guess, I would say he has some sort of a control system or at least a kill switch up in his office. All right. I, would, I wouldn't expect him to have anything less. But then again, I wouldn't have expected him to be a freaking lunatic. So the only way to that... Just off- then, yeah. <laughs> as you're discussing, you hear the loudspeaker come on. Oh... Jenkins, now that wasn't very nice. Oh God, he was listening? Oh no. I thought you and I saw eye to eye on this. We did until you unleashed it without my say so. You've ruined us. You've ruined the planet and everything we were striving to achieve. Robotnik. <laughs> Maybe what you wanted to achieve. I've thought bigger. And just as he finishes that sentence, it's punctuated with the floor underneath Jenkins shattering like a tower of bricks of some sort. I don't know. What am I? A writer? Uh, It shatters very easily, knocking the three of you back away from Jenkins. What you see emerge is a hand that is made out of what looks like human bodies. Not a Frankenstein hand, but a giant (laughs) hand made of bodies, full bodies clinging together. So it's a gigantic hand. It is gigantic. It rips a hole in the floor coming from this sub level and it grabs Jenkins by the just by it just grabs him it's massive so it has its entire grasp around him what do you do 
scream. Uh, 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 that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on a ledge by the wall. Uh, you are, you're on the floor, but you can see that this thick, uh, like concrete floor, it's about a foot thick, has just been smashed through like it was nothing. Yeah, but we're not like trying you to are avoid not, the hole. Yeah, you are not in danger of falling in. Uh, but you also aren't so far away as you can't get to it. Is quickly. there a clear path that would might lead us towards the office? You just know that the office is to your right as you're looking at this hole. Uh, the laboratory is back to your left, so you are standing parallel to the wall that you just ran into. Right. Must go right. Must must go right. Right. And I start moving towards the right. Okay. <laughs> as fast uh, as I can. As you're mumbling that and starting to turn away, you hear the blood-curdling scream of Jenkins being crushed to death in this hand of humans. I had a chance to save him, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone to death. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as yeah, oh, okay. you as you two <laughs> sit there discussing uh if you could have saved him uh it gives you exactly what you wanted and it throws his mangled corpse at the two of you oh both no. make pulls oh my god oh, oh, oh tower. speaking up oh Joe. Sorry. 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 Eddie. <laughs> oh no, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. It's Edmund. Edmund <laughs> Tillery. My good friend, Edmund. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. We both know. We know who. The man who scaled it. The over. Hillary Step is named after him. Also, Into Thin Air is one of my favorite. It's so books. good. <laughs> Okay, you're both able to uh, dodge this mangled corpse, uh, but Whoa. you're not able to dodge the spray of blood. Whoa. You are both now coated <laughs> in a thin veneer of Jenkins. Oh. Ooh. So I'm going to run man. after him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You are now both running go. through these stacks, uh, and you hear... Uh, you hear what sounds like wood and cardboard collapsing, and you kind of see dust being sprayed behind you, which you assume is these stacks being knocked over. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the this giant arm uh, go sort of towards you and claw into the ground and uh, up over the top of the stacks, you see what looks like a full humanoid made of just smaller bodies clinging together by their by their grasp. Uh, oh. It has no face. No. It's just a flat face, but it is very aware of where you are and where you're running to. Does it have eyes? Uh, it has many eyes oh, that okay. belong got it, to got it. all of the I get bodies it now. Okay. that are clinging to Okay, it. I understand. All right. Oh, attack uh, so you are currently running to the to the, office. the, the direction of the office. Uh, and you hey. figure that you're not going <laughs> to be able to outpace it for very long. Yeah. Uh, what can I see ahead of me? What, what's, what, what am I looking at? Uh, if you look up, you see that catwalk that I mentioned. Uh, and if you look straight ahead, you just see a corrugated metal wall that's about 100 meters away. And if we climb, uh, is the height of the wood uh, pallets high enough to get up on the catwalk? That was my original idea. Uh, I don't I believe so, well. no. Okay. Man. You can't really tell. Yeah. All right. uh, but... I would guess it's not a good choice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. Not to give you hints or anything. Well, no, I don't know if we're gonna. To yeah, I don't know if we're gonna to pace this thing. We we no. we'll probably need but to get to his cool switch if there is one. Uh, you are heading. I'm stuck in his voice now. <laughs> or you're heading towards the corrugated uh, wall. Towards a wall. You don't know 
of anything if else it opens up or anything okay so i think we probably just keep running right until we get to the end uh, yeah, I think I, I think once I get to that like to the steps, I'm gonna start like trying to get up to the catwalk if I can. You see it starting to reach toward you with a clenched fist. Are there openings in these stacks? There are. I'm gonna they're, zig they're to arranged another stack. In, a, in a grid pattern, so okay. you, you know that you can take different ways. Oh, I'm going, okay. I'm going to zig to the right to get out of that serpentine path. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, serpentine <laughs> pattern. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get out of his... Uh, Is anyone else doing vision? anything else? Uh, just running straight. This is tough. Uh, she's going... You're, so you're serpentining, right? right? Yeah. That's I when Evie, right, probably shouts, get out of the center because it's going to come down. And we're like, oh. What? And oh, I do the same thing, I but I go, go the right. opposite way. I see you go right, and I go left to try yep. and confuse it. So yeah. it's like it, there's so many like options for it to go. Take okay. the average. So you guys are both going left. I'm going right. The arm slams down, missing all of you. Mm, perfect. Uh, you notice that it, um, because the the force is distributed, it doesn't go through the floor. It just slams down, and uh, all of these all of these stacks that are around it crumble in trapping the hand mm -hmm. however the problem is you two ran towards the center of the room you ran towards that wall that you discovered earlier so you are now uh trapped between this arm and the wall okay. uh and you are surrounded by crumpled stacks on other either side you notice that the arm is is stuck but you're trapped mm -hmm. the other two uh you are able to look around, you just see more of these stacks. Oh. Oh boy. Is the arm moving or is it stationary currently? It is currently stationary. It is stuck. Is there a clear way to try and get her to our side? Like, Can I climb? You, you can try to climb. Uh, you can try to look around for something that might help. Uh, do I see anything around me that, that could help? Not currently. I would say your best bet is start climbing, but so towards gonna... us. But that would make me go over the arm. Yeah, that might be your best What's, bet. What's um? It's just a wall. There is the right. a wall behind you. Okay. There are two crumpled stacks crumbled onto the arm on either side of you, and there is just a. So am I? Says so the arm here, and I'm here. No. Like I'm by its fist. You're like you by the by way. its forearm. Okay. You're off to the right. Of so its I have forearm on one side, wall on the other. Mm -hmm. What's in front of me? Wait, sorry, that's not right. You have forearm in front of you, wall behind you, stacks on either side of mm -hmm. you. Okay. Crumpled stacks. Yeah. Okay, yes. and to get to them, I have to go forward over the forearm. Well, you Correct. you could crawl over the stacks and get around. I was going to see if I could climb a stack instead because I feel like going over the arm is going to be terrible. Okay, uh, pick a tile. Yeah, you were going to have to anyways. Right. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I probably would have made her pick more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, so you managed to get onto the stack pretty easily because it's crumbled over. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's it's trivial to walk across it. You have to be careful, mm -hmm. but ultimately it's a bunch of very heavy building materials, uh, stainless steel panels, things of that nature. So you're able to easily traverse across. Oof. You are now on the other side of the arm. What? From where I am, as high as I am over these stacks, what do I see? Uh, you see uh, stairs behind you and to your right in the far corner, okay. leading up to that catwalk. Mm -hmm. uh, you also see in front of you uh, a variety of forklifts, of um, different like vehicles that you can drive around. Okay. Uh, but they are on the opposite side of the building. Can I make it to that ladder walking across the stacks? Ladder or staircase, was it? Was it was a staircase, and no, it's still probably 75 meters to your right but I, as you're crossing the arm. 
Okay. You just saw that there okay. were stairs up to the crosswalk. So I get down to them, mm -hmm. and I tell them all that I found out. Don't tell me. What? You... So there's <laughs> stairs to the right and back there. Okay, that sounds that, that's probably exactly where we need to go. But there's also like front end loaders and stuff this way that might be good front enough. end loaders. As she's telling you this and seeing the puzzlement mm -hmm. in your eyes about what the hell a front end loader is. Front end is. loaders. And then I start thinking about aliens. You see, you see <laughs> exactly this. That. You see the, the giant being uh, straighten up. He stands up. But you notice that the arm he swung at you isn't there anymore. Oh. Oh, he pulled his arm. Oh, you he's going to look to the side where the arm was, and you see it starting to come apart yep. as all it. of the nanite hosts start to disengage and regain a sense of where they are. This might be a point. This might be a moment we may need to split up, guys. Uh, uh, I I could run to the loaders and maybe someone else can run to the stairs and maybe we could split up and you know there's a lot of them there's a lot of them uh they might be chasing us I don't you know You hear the loudspeaker come on very quickly Oh yes try that <laughs> I should like to see it Don't do that I don't I mean <laughs> they're starting to sh to regain their footing oh, and walk towards you How are you doing? I'm running to the stairs. It's probably the best bet, yeah. <clears throat> all right, to the stairs. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We all run to the stairs. Uh, uh, you fun. begin running, and they start to follow you. Mm -hmm. As you're as you're running to the stairs, you're able to see through the stacks every time it opens up, and all of these nanite <clears throat> posts are starting to stand up in unison because this arm was quite long. Mm. Mm. Uh, and they all start to sort of Look. wave toward <laughs> you. They start to, to shamble in at you. It's obvious that they will make it into the aisle you're in before you make it to the end of the building. How far are we at this point? I'm going to say you're about halfway there. So you're about 50 meters away. All right. Um... So we're about to be overrun in a little bit as and we're we running. We don't see anything else new around there? Every time you look back, you see more equipment over to your left. You see uh, cranes. Is there a you way to get controls. out of the aisle we're in? To uh, you see, You see some, some double doors every couple meters. Double uh, doors. I feel like we should go that direction. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fine. I was thinking if we get a crane or a front end loader we might be able to lift ourselves up to the catwalk while defending as well mm -hmm. so if two of us get some machinery we might be able to get so if we if we zag out of this aisle right now to try and avoid like getting overrun are we headed towards equipment then uh yes i would say that you are uh, uh, i this way let's just go this way they're about to overrun us and we start mm -hmm. heading towards equipment and seeing what we can Stop. like as get you to do that um you hear uh Maybe, maybe you don't hear. Uh, Joel, i.e. Eddie, you feel a strong pinch on your shoulder. Oh, no. Uh, you have been grabbed by one of the nanite Ooh. hosts. Oh, they're and strong. And he quickly starts squeezing and crushing your shoulder. Uh, pull from the tower to see if you can get out. Fan service. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's hands is getting like a little yeah, shaky as like as it keeps going. So you're you're able to sort of slip out of your out of your Quick. out of your shoulder <laughs> of your garment. Uh, which looks a lot like Jenkins's. is. It's kind of tattered. It's like just your standard, like, nasty scrubs from a hospital. Uh, so it's a very thin material, and your arm rips out of the sleeve, and uh, he's left with it in his grasp, which is very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, but fortunately, that difference between your shoulder and the, the cloth was enough to free you. Oh, boy. Yes. 
<laughs> so we're right. running we're running towards the equipment yes. what equipment do we see in our immediate vicinity okay so uh you see directly in front of you uh you see a forklift mm -hmm. uh, you see controls that look like they might be to an overhead crane of some sort you also see a tiny little uh, personnel carrier, a tiny little like gator, if you mm. want to yeah, yeah. like gators. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's basically like a like a golf cart without a roof. Ah, mm -hmm. okay, got it. Um, so I'm going to say that as you're heading that way, you uh, you feel sort of a shift in the air. Uh, and I'm going to let you guys decide what to do from there. Um, I'm going to run to the controls is what I will do. Is I want to head to the controls um, and see what I can do with those. Okay. If, if I can. I don't know what else everybody else is So the, you said there's a crane, but is it like a hook? Is it a, it, is it a, is it a an actual? We yeah, but you said there's. Oh, I see. Okay. So you don't know what it goes to oh, yet. No. You don't immediately know. That's why I was. I wanted. Like, I want to investigate. It was a game of pong the whole time. <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? I'm going to the forklift. Okay. And I'm going. I thought there was a crane there, but am I wrong? No. Did there I was a gator, that? and then there was a, a the forklift. The crane is just the control. Yeah. Okay. Or okay, if okay. it is a crane, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's just yeah, controls. Right. Um, I'm gonna join her on the forklift. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm going to jump on the back of it and say, let's take him out with this thing. Okay. <laughs> That's the idea. Yeah. Uh, or lift it up. As you are running, yeah. uh, you suddenly notice that it's gotten very dark. The shift in the air that you felt was the giant host winding up with his other arm. Oh, that's right. I forgot Leaving about him. him unchecked me and running blindly towards the equipment means that you did not see his swing coming. So I need each of you to pull a tie. Oh, man. Ooh. Do you guys want to go first? first. Oh. Do you guys want to go first? Yeah. 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 I believe in you. Oh, no. Oh, something there was loose. There you go. Yeah. Man, there are not many yeah. options left. <laughs> all of us. I want to thank you all for stopping in at twitch.tv slash Bob Samurai Network, where I'm about to kill myself my first host. If you want to see more hosts decide, be sure to like, share, go next or I? subscribe. Oh, God. I'm just going to stand in the background. Yeah, don't like, breathe. And if you have a pick nice. for who you think up, is yeah. going to be the first host to die, let me hear him. Will it be Amanda as Evelyn? Oh, God, Eddie. <laughs> Doesn't sorry. look I'm like so it. I'm so sorry. Will it be Don't Joel touch. as Sir okay. Eddie Hillary? Eddie yeah. Hillary. Or will Eddie. it be Jelani as Wade? Both nice. of, All three of whom are getting attacked. By the giant nanite host right now. Yeah. Oh, oh God. stay alive. Stay alive, oh, stay ready. Alive. Yes. Halfway there. Yes. Bring it on, fist. This, <laughs> this tower is going to take like a stiff don't breeze to the table. knock over. Everybody oh, move back a step the from table. the table. Yeah, uh, the the arm <laughs> comes down just behind each of you. Uh, it does not quite get you, but you feel it crash down, and you're instantly reminded that there is more than just the foot nanites behind you. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Uh. Arm nanites? Uh, the, well, they're on foot. Oh, got it. Yes. Okay. So, like, but they're from the arm. Okay. How far away is Wade from the controls? You have reached the controls. Nice. You both have reached the forklift. We're in. I start fiddling You're with the controls back. to see what they do. Or okay. Uh, I can. I can. See I was thinking if you lift one the of those crane up to the come up, this you see a crane actually. arm yeah. that's attached to the top of the ceiling. It looks like it can run uh, the length of the warehouse both ways, but you can't quite discern which controls figure which way yet because all you've done is lifted it up 
to expose a giant uh, wrecking ball. Yes. On it. Okay. All right. Um, so I start studying that, and I start trying to get uh, start to get familiar with it, Starting so I can. Uh, my idea is I'm going to try and like take out like or at least harm this giant thing and buy us time to get to where we need to get to why is there a wrecking ball in this warehouse <laughs> That's a great question. That's a great question. Like, I know. <laughs> it might have to do with all of the stacks of broken building mm. materials mm. Good point. Uh, that you saw near the only developed part of the warehouse mm -hmm. all right um so our plan was I'm in the driver's seat of the forklift he's on the tines and I'm trying to raise him up to the catwalk okay so you start hitting buttons willy-nilly <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> nothing happens it's not on I, I turned the key that happened to conveniently be in there oh did you I did uh, I forgot to tell you that where did you find that they actually left it right in there. Under right the, in under there. The yeah. It was just. So there's actually the, under the, vi in, yeah. in the visor. It's like, that's <laughs> there it amazing. Is. Convenient. That's very convenient. Uh, Joel, pick, uh, pick a tile. <laughs> sorry. For Amanda's <laughs> oh. live use of forklift. I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate it. I think it was a good move, too. Oh, God. Oh, oh is. yeah. Is my chance. Oh, oh. man. Did it? No. Oh, I wanted it to fall over no. after you. Stop hot throwing dog. it! I know, so <laughs> and they're getting a lot more is... unaligned here. Okay, I know they're like. Really so busy. Joel is on the tines of the fork. He wanted to do this. <laughs> uh, I'm... Sorry, Evelyn is driving. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the wrecking ball. It has been raised. And am I, am I familiar enough where I can like I can get it to where I want it to go? Or can uh, you at least get it to go up and down? You you should spend a little bit more time with the controls because right now you guys all can you know jump sure on it and go move. up if he just yeah. goes boom hits it again. I'm like, go up. Uh, you are starting to figure out the forklift controls, but you do not yet know how to make it move. Okay, it's not the gas with the. Uh, it's an electric. We only have one planet, y'all. <laughs> and it got screwed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, apparently, we don't because have because of you. Anymore, actually, uh, as you guys are fiddling with the controls, you start to see this uh, line of orange eyes emerge from the crates. It's happening, uh, guys. They're coming. So, what are you doing? I figured out knowing like... that none of you have mastered your devices yet. Um... They're about. 20 feet away, it would take them, you know, 30 seconds Are to they... get over you. She's raising up. Feet. She's <laughs> raising up the forklift to the catwalk. Is the catwalk like right above her? It is not. Ugh. So she needs to drive it. Yeah. So it's like so... <laughs> it's not actually all that close to you guys. It's about 50 meters away, which was where it was when you last checked. Guys. <laughs> Evie, start drive the forklift away. I, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna get this fork, this thing going. You guys get towards the catwalk. Go, 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 go. Uh, let's pretend like I was timing that. They were all drawn to your display, and now there are three or four of them that are bearing down on you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I have? competency enough with the controls you have figured out how to move it back and forth yes do i have time to hit the big dude with it i don't know is there a big up and down button that are pretty <laughs> obvious what i'm going to do okay is i'm going to send the wrecking ball towards the big guy is what i'm gonna do oh, is okay. i'm just gonna i'm just gonna I'm gonna power through it, and I'm gonna send it. This is my moment. This is my moment, guys. I'm going. You could swing in front of you, and I'm gonna sacrifice the character. I'm going to push the the controls and pull the wrecking ball towards the big dude uh, okay, to well, buy them time to get going all to the way. Dismantle. They're gonna dismantle, but it buys you time to get out out with the forklift farther away because he's just gonna keep smashing. In dread, there's a very specific way that you sacrifice your character. Uh, so Jelani is saying that he is going to give up 
his character's life in order to make a swing at this to giant to get thing. them enough time to get to the to the catwalk so they can get to as, where they as need to go. you're fiddling with the controls the uh, walkers start to grab onto your limbs you feel one gripping your right knee you feel another one latching around your stomach you feel both of your shoulders getting pulverized and uh is this, is this where it happens? Can I do it? Is this what... do, uh, do a thing. Tell me what happens. Uh, I yell out, uh, like, you bastards, you only thought about what you could do. You didn't think about whether you should. And I just, like, I push it and, uh, and I punch it towards, like, the big dude, uh, Wrecking Ball style to hit you the thing. You could have Gandalfed it. Go! Oh! <laughs> okay yeah, yeah and then just like smash it into there and uh, i guess they just like they start surrounding me i'm like making a bunch of noise and yelling out like so are to you buy gonna them do time. something with and that tower or? that's what that's what oh. i do okay. oh. and the skull and the skull and with gone. that uh ah! has been, uh that's what happens destroyed. decapitated <laughs> he he screams uh, incomprehensibly, as he's operating this crane, uh, it it lurches forth with the wrecking ball and smashes into the chest of the bigger uh, of the bigger uh, yeah. nanite. Keep listening. Host. You guys keep listening. I'll just keep going. Yeah. All right. Fine. Keep going. Like. Like you would expect out of, I don't know, a tower of wooden blocks, it completely breaks apart into its smaller bits. Joel, I know we have a hundred guys. <laughs> Just kidding. I know, right? Um, <laughs> and Jill, and uh, Wade is able to look up and see with satisfaction that this giant towering behemoth now has a wrecking ball in his chest. Uh, he, he looks... Slightly knocked back, uh, but mostly he just kind of looks like Tony Stark <laughs> if his thing turned off. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, mostly unfazed. Joel, would you do me a favor and remove the top three rows from that tower? What? Mm. You guys. You top big... three rows? <laughs> Go. Right. Dun, dun, dun. So if we're starting from there. Thank you. All right. Okay. Back to position. So uh, while this is all happening. Yes, I... please fill us in. Uh, as as uh, it should be pointed out that Wade uh, looked up and was very unsatisfied as he was. <laughs> as I was torn to apart. <laughs> in half. <sighs> they 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 ah. threw him on the ground. Uh, half of them grabbed the top. The other half grabbed the bottom, and they Chinese finger trapped him. Oh God! Uh, but they were not trapped. <laughs> they were able to brute force their way through, and uh, all that was Wait. left was a very long, stringy pink bit of. Oh, it's and I I die whispering. It's like the movie Hitchhiker, and I just <laughs> die. <laughs> you try to say that, but it doesn't Hitch get out because fuck that shit. <laughs> Jelani, you've been killed. I've been, I've died. Yes, I've died. You are, you are dying. Dead. Also, are you? Are, did you remove the top three to make it harder? Yes. Uh, well, usually because the shorter the tower is, the harder it is to drop the topple. Um, what you usually do is you want to make the the players pre pull a bunch of uh, empty spots, so you make them pull a bunch of them oh. at the beginning. When someone when someone else mm. removes from the game, you, you have Thank them you pull. You dead person for helping me kill the other dead people. Well, I mean, it's to keep tension. Yet. Like, yeah, you don't want to start with a fresh tower. You have the remaining players pull. So from keep like, yeah. you start right, pulling. So put those back on, oh, yeah. and why don't I have the both of you yeah. pull? Usually, it's like three, four. yeah, three, three or four yeah, or something five. like that. I'm total, feeling cool. Total or yeah. Five total. Five yeah. total. Right. No, five I'm, between five each. Each is that? That's fair? a lot. Is that a lot? Three. That's a lot. Five each is a lot. Uh, three each. Three each is. Three each is pretty much pretty good. Okay. Damn it! Yeah. I'm not good this at being be mean yet. Us. You're up first. Are you trying to be mean? mean? I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, obviously, I didn't pour enough bourbon in my coffee. Cheers. This is storytelling fluid, everyone. Two. Let me see your shirt. I know, I was wondering about that. I'm like, where is it?
Oh god. Three. It's a full one. I'm having right. problems. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for the suggestion of how to kill your cohort. <laughs> I mean, I, that's just how it works. Like just let me know. Would you mind getting me? Yeah, more please. I'm gonna get some more. Does anybody want more coffee? Please. I am good, but do you want to take this to sure. plus? Thank you so Ordering much. Ordering the dead to bring you coffee <laughs> is one of my favorite things. I have to be honest. It's pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two. He's the host with the most. He's the host with the most. But now he's a ghost. <laughs> Boo. No. Ha! Boo. Ha! Ah, I'm funny. All right. Starting this off Sounds right. Good. Okay. Gross. I okay. see you've decided to pull all of the center boards. That, yeah, that was not a good nice. move. It's not. <laughs> this um, is why Jenga has never been a one-player game. Okay. <laughs> when we last left our heroes, I don't know. You're awfully survivors. You're survivors. Awfully cowardly for heroes. Survivors. Hey, we tried to save somebody. We also lost uh, most of our memory. They had completely abandoned a guy that they thought they had saved uh, and a guy that was trying to help them and knew everything uh, and also a guy that was apparently their friend. Uh, all to miserable, gruesome deaths. We join them now Jiving a forklift, which they are not licensed for. No. All right. Turns out forklift had an emergency brake on it. That's good. Yeah. So I, I didn't know that. Undid that and hit the gas. The electric. The electric. There it is. And one planet, y'all. Throttle. Made sure that that Eddie was holding real tight on because we went as fast as the forklift could go, which is like six miles an hour. Yes. And we rocketed away while. He gave his life for nothing. For nothing. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you for reiterating. Yes. Um, <laughs> I would like to I point know. out that six miles is not fast. No. But it is faster than the nanite hosts Great. appear to be. At least the ones that have been shook up uh, as they spilled off of. It's also this giant. faster than I can run with my tiny corgi legs. So I'm for it. <laughs> can't run six miles an hour. That wasn't necessary. That was just fan service. Uh, so, so we rocket off <laughs> towards where the catwalk is so I can try to get Eddie up there. Yes. So uh, you get to where the uh, you get to where the office is. Mm -hmm. Because I will point out that as you were oriented towards the wall you've been running to this whole time. Yep. Uh, on the right side was those stairs. On the left side was the overseer's office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're like... We're... So we might as well go towards the office just so that kind oh, of yeah. the middleman. I think we just put uh, that thing right through the office. As you, as you are driving along, you see the, uh, the nanites start to thin out as they're coming out of the stacks until the ones from the crushed arm are no more. You also hear behind you a great big crowd of them from the other arm that crashed down and eventually disassembled. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no. As you're riding along, you look back yep. and you see the giant armless torso, uh, torso with the, the wrecking ball in his chest slowly getting shorter. Oh, no. As nanite hosts start to peel off the bottom and join this horde. You assume that there are probably at least two or three hundred hosts in this one facility. Yeah, we're screwed. We need to get into that control box quick. Well, I might be screwed because I'll be stuck in the bottom. <laughs> As you two are discussing how screwed you are. Oh, we're still driving. You are still driving. Yes. No, the and I... loudspeaker comes on again. You hear the overseer. Oh, that was delicious. Would you like to know what your friend's last words were? Who cares? I couldn't figure them out either over all of the screaming. See you soon. <laughs> so you don't have to sacrifice yourself as we're, we're discussing as we're going at snail's pace on this thing. We're driving. Um, so I'm saying to her, you don't have to sacrifice yourself. You can hit the up switch jump on it while you have a chance and we both go up maybe to the to the front of the office at least the rails and be able to jump onto them mm -hmm. and crawl over and get into that office 
or we can send it through the bottom of that floor of the office duck while the top of it because there is a back rail on these things uh breaks through the floor and we just start right in there mm -hmm. what do you want to do i'll you're in control yeah but then what do we go, we'll go into over, the office over or the over the rail? The rail? <laughs> because we don't know what the bottom layer of the office is Fair made enough. of. And I don't <laughs> Solid <wanna> steel. <laughs> concrete. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, We're gonna so we make it to that. the office. I don't know what you guys just decided to do, but I'm going to tell you what you see. You come to the end of the rows of crates uh, and you see an opening. Uh, it is a long it's it's the width of the uh of the building so you can see clear across to the stairs mm -hmm. you also see a large garage door that looks like it goes it looks like a loading dock okay um and you see a uh, a remote hanging next to it mm -hmm. uh to like open the garage yeah. yeah yeah all right um um you are Underneath the office at this point, you you look up and you recognize that there's a big rectangle mm -hmm. uh, with the catwalk leading off of it towards the stairs. Um, you don't see any sort of way to get through the floor. Right. Uh, it just looks flat. Mm -hmm. Stairs it? Or do you want to exit? We shouldn't exit because we should stop these things. That's my leave, thought. Yeah. It's going to be worse out right. there. So... We want to get up to the catwalk. Yep. So we're running then, I guess. We get off the, the forklift, although okay. I'm in the air. Uh, I jump and do an awesome uh, ninja tumble and roll. You need to pull. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Awesomeness requires a pull. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet, though. Pretty awesome. Sweet. Wait, how awesome was it? Uh, I did like... Medium awesome. A 10 Joel. point dive off of it. Olympic pull style. two. All right. Yeah, that's pull two of them. Just making sure. <laughs> that sounds really awesome. If it's awesome. super cool, you have to pull two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This thing is getting rickety. We did this to ourselves. Sure did. <laughs> More than anything, he did that to himself. Uh, yeah. That's true. So I land the awesome dive, right? Okay, so yeah. you do you land. Don't it. <laughs> it is pretty awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, the only people that saw it were the mindless nanites. And they even because she was busy blood. getting out of the thing. They they still gave an awesome wink with one of their <laughs> awesome bright eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> They, they will consider tearing you apart in a More. gentler fashion. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're off of this thing together. And we're sprinting. Yeah. Okay. You are doing that. As you do that, you start to see some of the nanite hosts from the arms. Shifting. And they have made it to the end where you are, and they are by the stairs. Oh, we're cornered. Dang it. Garage door. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to this. The course. garage door is to your left. Mm -hmm. uh, the nanites and the stairs are ahead of you. Let's just garage door it. Uh, Let's see what's are, out there. If we're going out, we at least want to see the well. sunset. Yeah. There's, there's, there's <laughs> sunset. Yeah. There may be other things around if you if you care to look for anything. What's around we us? We do look around. Okay. Oh, a broom. Wow, great. <laughs> uh, you, you see what look like uh, toolboxes uh, just near the door. Okay. Um, so your standard like tool chest standing mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. um, there may be things in the drawers if you care to take a look. Are yeah, the but... nanites advancing or are they hanging out by the stairs? They see you and they are advancing. I'm going to go to Slower the... than a forklift, roughly. I'm going to go towards the door because... You can stab. We've all seen Terminator. You can stab something, <laughs> and they're just gonna grow back. Yeah, that was the point. Hey, <laughs> the, the whole you point. You hear a whispering from the beyond, from beyond the grave, <laughs> telling you, um, something actually, about... it's more like Terminator Two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my my thought is, we heard before that it's to repair and fix so we don't stand a chance against we these don't. things we need to get away or stop them at I the source that we sky go nut. to the go back to the forklift because it's faster than them and then, then we go to the garage door but uh okay 
Are they in the same direction? You turn around thinking maybe we should go back to the forklift and you can't see it. Cool. Over the heads of the uh, nanite hosts who have caught up to the forklift Dang it. and started dismantling it. Oh god. Not recognizing that it is not a threat to them anymore. Okay. So garage door it is. Yeah. Let's go. All right. <laughs> okay. So we, run. we go. You run. Real fast. Really fast. Well, as fast as we can. Tell me what you're doing other than running in circles. We go Are to going the towards the garage. Okay, controls. Okay. The control. You do that. The dangling control. Uh, you get to the control. You see, it has a green button with a uh, triangle pointing up and a red button with a triangle pointing down. Green time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Green button. Uh, you press the button and the door starts starts uh, going up. And it's not it's not like a super slow door. Right. It's not even creaky. This door has been serviced recently. Nice. You're very excited about this. The door is going up at a good pace. Uh, and then it stops. Okay. And then it closes. No. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? If we, if we... Uh, all of the nanite hosts have advanced on you. If if one of us holds a control and pushes and holds a button, can we override it long enough for them? Would you like to try person? that instead of asking me? Yes. Do you want to survive? I've climbed no, my I, mountains. I, I, no, I survived last time. I pushed the button. I mean. Because you can happens. run faster than I can. Nothing happens. What did you think I was it. gonna leave it on? Is there an automatic, like a, a manual release? There is a handle there. But is there like, is it just the handle, or is there like an actual like release? Uh, it is a, a garage latch, door release. Okay. Uh, and and a handle, so you'd have to unlatch it and pull it up. Okay. Uh, the the nanites are starting to swarm you. Uh, so they're very close now. Okay, I grab. The... Uh, you you notice as you're looking at this door that there are some sturdier looking items next to the door. Okay. There is a pry bar. Mm -hmm. There is also a a, um, a glass case with uh, some sort of fire stopping thing in it. I'm gonna smash it and get the fire extinguisher. Uh, it is actually an axe in there. You uh, were right the first time. I'm Dang grabbing it. the crowbar. I was going to tell you the opposite either way. You should You're have said, awful. if you said axe, I was going to give you an extinguisher. I'm, I, yeah, well, you want that axe because I guess do. what? I'm just frustrating. I grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed the crowbar, spin around, jam it under the door and start kicking to try to pry or at least bend the door into a shape. I need both of you to pull a cube. Okay. Did you unlatch the latch first, though? It doesn't matter. We're breaking That's out of true. here. <laughs> you have an axe. I do have an axe. I've seen in movies where axes go through doors. I had an axe the last time, too. Okay, your hand is very cut up, but it is still functional. Ouch. Yes. So I'm just bleeding. You're just bleeding everywhere. But I have an axe. Yeah. Does that Sweet. attract sharks? You know. <laughs> <laughs> where are there sharks? Nano sharks. Dang it. It's a real That's shame that Sharknado. you don't have any medical nanites. Why don't you let us fix that for you? No, thanks. I'm good. Nice. Uh, you are able to jam the, uh, the, the pry bar under the door, but it's not going anywhere. It seems like any time you pry it up, it gets mechanically pushed right back down. Yeah, but I want to bend it. I'm trying to break it. I want to go between the side of the garage door, the rails, and just beat the snot out of this thing. It's an aluminum door. We can get at through this. <laughs> Do you know it's an aluminum door? I know my metals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or metalloids. Okay, I say. so I guess you pry at the sides, um, and you are able to break the track that it's on. Yes. But yes. you're not, like, it, it bends a it's little a bit out, but it flaps right back in because it's still held up. I know. I know. About, you know, 10 feet so above So one of us house. has to sacrifice herself. So I say, I'm going to give this thing all I got, and you're getting through this. And I'll hold them all in here. This might be all of them in the world that are inside of here. And it might be, a, you're free to check out what's going out there. I am going to give my life 
so that she can survive and get through the door with her tiny legs. So I, <laughs> so I use the pry bar again and I say, all right, I'm going to hold it. They're going to swarm me and you're going through. Can I do it? <laughs> you can try. I got to pull for it. Uh, I would say pull three for that. Ooh, Ooh man. Or if you're oh. sacrificing. That's why. Well, all right, I'll pull three. Pull to three see what in if case. I, yeah. yeah. I was sacrificing, but, but if, if you I don't survive, have to. Yeah. One. Don't do it if you don't have to. Yeah, pick that one. Take your time. Yeah, learn from Wade. <laughs> that wasn't satisfying. He's sitting there being like, this was a mistake. <laughs> I regret everything. Two. I regret this. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, yeah. I want to make sure this thing's coming down. The base <laughs> is so thin now. So thin. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. You wedge your pry bar in there. You say you're making it out of this, or whatever the yeah. hell you said, and you you pull so hard that you actually break the track of Bye. this door. <laughs> <laughs> you break the track. Making it infinitely bendable. You can just pull it apart, basically. Yes. Because it's made of aluminum. Yes. Nice. <laughs> you do know your But metal. American aluminum. Fine, uh, anyway. Finest damn metal. <laughs> Great. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, so, you you pry it open, expecting to see, to see daylight, or at least street lights. Outside, yeah. Uh, and as you, you're going through, I'm yep. assuming. I'm going through oh, first. No. As you as you emerge oh, no. out the <laughs> other side, uh, you see uh, the second half of this oh, warehouse. No. God damn it! It is filled with uh, trucks. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, and there is a there is a uh, a bigger door on the other side. But that is another roughly hundred meters what away. What kind of trucks? There is a, uh they are big old Mack trucks. They're big semis. Okay. Yes. Uh you We're also see another out of here. stairway going up and uh into a door, which you're assuming, or you can probably uh assume, makes its way back to that catwalk you saw before. I'm getting out of here, catwalk. I have no clue. Going to the catwalk. Point. Yeah. All right. We're running okay. towards the stairs. There are uh, no nanites on this side of the door, but right. you start to see them pouring through mm -hmm. the behind okay. you. Uh, you start running to the stairs, uh, and you all of a sudden hear the sound of many feet. Uh, and they are uh, kicking open one of the truck hatches uh and they quickly pour out of this truck and oh. start start running onto this this staircase behind you so you are about a third of the way up this <clears throat> staircase and they are at the bottom coming at you fast these seem to be a different type of they have red eyes host. and they have glowing purple eyes yeah all right Dang. Okay. indicated by purple they're faster uh, so what do you do seeing all of them coming at you? Book it. Go faster. <laughs> okay, you continue running up the stairs. Yeah. Both of Let's you go faster. pull a uh, brick for me. Let's go faster. This one? Must go faster. Well, uh, I suppose Amanda would be ahead. She so gets one. So, Joel, pull two. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, it's getting weak. It's getting weak. Yikes. Don't touch the table. Boom. <laughs> I know, I'm like, and done. Tickling the tower at this point. I am. Um, how are you doing, little guy? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay. Nice. Oh, two is enough. 
You Bring are it. barely outpacing these nanite hosts. One of them takes a swipe at Joel's leg. Yes. <laughs> I get to try again. And smashes into his knee. Oh, no. Oh, no. He is hobbling, but alive. Okay. I got away, though? You got away. All right. Nice. But you are Slow. now slowed. Uh, <sighs> you are still eyes. racing to the top of this tower. Mm -hmm. uh, and you hear on top of it uh, more footsteps. So are you going to continue to the top? Where are the footsteps coming from? They sound like, so it's a metal staircase, and it sounds like they're sort of wobbling the entire thing. It sounds so from like both down, sides. It sounds like they're coming up top. Oh, we keep going. I mean, at this, we have to keep going because we're at least trapped. Okay. So we might as well keep going up. All right. You reach the top of the stairs. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you have managed to uh, sort of lose the other ones because they started to sort of fall over each other at the bottom. You know they're there, but they're having trouble navigating the stairs just because of the sheer number of them. Mm. Uh, at the top of the stairs, you see what is by far the biggest human you've ever seen. Uh, it has Brawny man red <laughs> eyes. Oh, oh there you go. Uh, and it is staring right at you. But uh, where is the door? So the Beyond door him? is the door. There's a door to your left that might go into the, the other yeah. office or, or into the other area where you came from. And then there's a door behind him that looks like it goes to the office. I see. But there's a catwalk he, on the other he side. He speaks. Where are you going? <laughs> All right, sloth. No way. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Uh, he is big and fast or big and slow? You have not seen him move yet. You've okay. only heard him move. I think we tried but for you, the left You door, could right? tell he's heavy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we tell him that we have a meeting with his boss. Uh, he says, boss? What boss? Hmm. You got ideas? Uh, can we slide through his very tall legs? Would it take him a long time to bend uh, over? I would love to see you try. I mean, I have a gimpy leg. I'm, so. I'm smaller. You want to try it first? I'm faster than you. Yeah. You try that. I will try to go under his legs, I guess. Uh, pull three. Okay. Oh. I'm going to be sacrificed, probably. Oh, I can't be the survivor. I'm going to... I have no leg and... <laughs> I can't be the survivor. I'm the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. One. one. Oh, this thing's getting... Getting pretty. It's a work of art. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Two. 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 Oh god. You can do it. Believe in you. Nice. Look at that. What a solid foundation you have there. Three. Okay. Um, <laughs> Just sit down. Oh, you you manage to get on all fours and uh, crawl under his legs before he is able to react. Uh, you just hear him go, oh, <laughs> uh, as you stand up behind him. Uh, you are now both surrounding him. You both have a door on the wall that you can go through. What do you do? Do you tap him on the back? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, well, you have his attention. He'll slowly turn around, and you run for the door. I run for the other door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We're going to tap him. Or punch him, whatever you uh, want to Pull two. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I 
I feel like this is um, kind of like House of the Dead 2. I don't know if you've ever played that, have you? I have not. Jelhani? House of the Dead 2? Yeah. Uh, is it the shooter one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I played where like the guys like dogs oh, of the AMS over the loudspeaker and the big TV at the Coliseum. I God, I'll have to show you guys it later. What a great game! You know, you know I'm a big fan of like those okay. shooters. Oh yeah. So Nicely you you done. tap him ridiculous. on the shoulder <laughs> and uh, you you flinch your hand back as you see his other arm speed to that shoulder. It smashes into the shoulder. And, like, you hear these bones just cracking as the entire structure of his shoulder is smashed under his own might. I make a dart for it. He goes, oh. And I run into the room behind me and shut the door. Okay. So, so he, he, as, as you run by, pull one for me. Yeah, because I'm going and doing a run on the wall because I did such a cool dive as, before. As, yeah. as you do this, you start to see his shoulder instantly be reconstructed the by heck? the Manites. No. He's in this this yeah, shoulder right. that he smashed himself is now just I'm reforming before your very eyes with a green nice. glow nice. that nice. looks like a circuit board pattern. Keep going. Uh-huh. Careful though. Be a little less aggressive. More of Joel backside. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're fine. No, no, no. Like get get to where you can do this. Getting intense. There we go. Don't do that. <laughs> That's how it falls. Nice. Uh, he he <sighs> flails nice. his broken arm at you as you pass by and just misses, uh, catching you center of mass, but he does hit you in your bum leg. Oh, man. Uh, causing it more to, bum. Causing, it to win, <laughs> causing you to wince in Bummer. pain. Oh. Uh, but wince. you get by him, and he's he's like reconstructing himself as he's walking by you. Where are you going? Mr. X. He repeats. Oh. Well, I ran into the door behind him and slammed the door shut. But, but wait a minute, that okay, was that's an office? Okay, you tried to, but that door was... Was it closed already? Locked. Oh. oh yes. No. Sad. Uh, so you can try to force it open. So hold on, she's there going... You may or may not have something. She's there... Oh, you have that. I have the axe, so I'm going to... Get in! <laughs> I'm coming as like, fast as I can, so you better get that door open. So, you're doing well, your thing. I'm trying to like force it open, so like I try to like get the wedge, the blade in between the door and the thing. Yeah, you know. One. Okay. Okay. So as you're making your neo move around yeah, yeah. this, yeah, with tight one leg, by the way. <laughs> I think this is one of you guys. I don't know. I thought I was toast last time. Okay. So you wedge okay. uh you wedge your axe into this office door. Oh, yeah. No. And uh you pop it open and like the the handle and the whole door it seems to like bow and snap and it opens. Uh, so the door is now open. This guy is bearing down on you, and you both are in front of this open door. We just dive in. And we slam we the walk door in, blinded by light, and we. Okay. What's inside? What are you see? guys doing? We're walking in. Each of you. I'm walking in, trying to get him inside, and slamming the door so that the other guy can. You come walk in. in first. Yes. I walk Pull in. Pull six for me, please. Okay, so I'm going. Oh my god, there's not six to pull. That's oh no. the okay. point. Yeah, I know. I. Uh, I'm good knowing all of you. I was still behind her, walking in style. No. Well, <laughs> you got a certain swagger, but it's mostly because you only have one good ankle. <laughs> hey, no, this is where skipping I is die, cool. Guys. Oh. There's one. I can't believe this. Two. <laughs> Three. Now go for it. 
This is very upsetting. I want to kill something, you I'm guys. I'm going to die, don't worry. I, she has no other options. I have no other options. Well, there are a few, but you might have to be a little more forceful. Yeah, well, I'm not good at that anyway. Yes. There it is. Four. Oh, now you have a new you have a new have row. A new row. Wait, oh my god. <gasps> Balance the weight on the right side. Um Oh. Oh. My Six. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Survivors. You. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay. Amazing. Oh you walk through the door. Yeah. And you start to hear bangs. <laughs> the uh, you see the overseer with a revolver unloading at you as you step through this door. He shouts or he he shoots one, two, three. Four, five, six. And missed them. Missing every <laughs> shot. It's like wow. Uh, pull one more. Oh, Jesus. I don't think I can do that one. I got lucky on the ones. We believe in you. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, no. Twisting it back the other way. Oh my god. No, it's oh wait, this is where I put this is. Uh, uh, uh. Quit turning the bottom. I know, I know, I know. Oh no. no. This is where I die. Oh. Oh. She sneezes and dies. So I sneeze <laughs> with the revolver and then you I die. Damn! Bastards are ruining everything! You hear him scream oh, as out of frustration with, with his his own terrible crummy shot. He 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 realizes that he can't end you the easy way. So he runs out of the shadows from where he was waiting just beside the door to ambush you and smashes you in the temple with this oh, nice. big heavy revolver. You drop to the floor uh, in a puddle, and he starts just wailing on you to the uh, horror of your compadre, who is standing in the door, helpless to stop him. As he finishes with one last bone-crushing, uh, you know, smash to your skull, he rises up out of the shadows and looks at uh, at Eddie and says, you think you can stop me? You think any of this is going to change? What do you do? I am going to give him the biggest jump off of my one good leg and kick for his head and knock that son of a bitch clean off. Okay, uh, <laughs> give me one. One? Just one. Yeah. One. How about ten? ten? Jump kick. Yeah, <laughs> like this. <laughs> and with the same leg, kicks him. All right. Okay, you kick him square in the face. Yes. You both topple to the ground uh in a in a in a messy pile of uselessness the gun skitters across the floor uh you fall to your face and uh both of you are slow to get up you you don't understand anything you don't understand what i'm trying to accomplish here he screams at you rage coming out of him foaming at the mouth you want to bet i do with the chair from the floor comes Joel, and I'm gonna smack him over the head with this with this foamy. <laughs> Joel, new character. New character. <laughs> Eddie uh, picks up the chair and 
From the top pull, of the ring. Pull two. Pull two for that. <laughs> I am piece by piece taking this man apart. With your one leg. Yes, exactly. I'm doing just fine at it, thank you. It's cool, because we're dead over here. I know. How, how is life? You made it pretty far. Yeah. All right, that's I've two. I've done six pulls on that's that one. Six uh, you, you wind <laughs> up ready to ready to unleash this chair wwe style yep, onto yep. the overseer but then you hear a shatter of glass as the red-eyed behemoth smashes through and grasps for you he's he's lurching at you but all he's able to do is grab the chair and rip it back out of your hands destroying the door in the process and now they're coming in where's the switch Where's the switch, you son of a bitch? Uh, he he doesn't uh, he doesn't say anything, but you see him kind of glance over to his left to a a, a very plain wooden desk uh, that has some sort of a box on it. What's in the box? Hurry up and tell me what's in the box. Do you have a key? Is it locked, or can I just throw? I'm going to the box, and I take off towards the box. Uh, pull me a tile. The intense ending we really, all asked for. Really good. You might as well just stay by that, actually. Uh, so he he reaches at he he swipes for your feet as you run over and just misses. You get to the box and it does have a it does have a lock on it. You see, How do we open this thing? <laughs> you see a glint of something gold hanging from his neck. Give me you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to go for his neck. And okay. I'm going to ring him out until I grab the thing off of him. Uh, pull one for me. All right. I like the, the, two, around, of, I like the two to four of acting you guys are doing right now. It's very good. Good. You guys are doing a great job. Thank yeah. you. Hold on, hold on. One. Okay, uh, so he, he, he fusses and, and, and like tries to swat your hands away, but you grab him by the neck and rip this chain off of his, off of his neck. You see that it's a key to the box uh, that you assume is to the box, I should say. I got the key. God, I hear you piece of shit. All right, I'm running for the box. I pick up the box and I have the key. I put the key in and turn. Okay, so as you're doing that, yeah. the giant red-eyed behemoth has been approaching you this whole time. Oh. Uh, you've been so focused on the box that uh, you didn't see him coming. Oh. Uh, he, he wraps his giant mitt around your neck as you're fiddling with this box. You get it open with the key, and you lift it, and you see a button as his grip begins to tighten. Pull two. Oh, the whole tower's moving. One. But he's got his one. Take your time. Oh, he's got his two. two. You, uh, so you, you manage to keep your wits about you. <laughs> you, you have the it. box with the button. I'm you, gonna... you push, the, you <sighs> slam the button. And you, you feel some sort of energy uh, emanate from the, from the basement, from the floor. You look to your right and you see a window uh, with that weird like hashed uh, uh, wire going through it yeah. uh, so it doesn't shatter. And you see the behemoth, armless, but coming toward you. And all of a sudden... Oh. Sorry, we just lost picture for a second. Uh, all of a sudden... Everything, the, the, the giant uh, red-eyed behemoth, his grip loosens, and you see the, the, the giant amalgamation out there topple. Everything goes lifeless as you realize you've just detonated the kill switch, his EMP, <gasps> his ace in the hole. Oh. Oh, I did it. You hear, a you hear <laughs> a click. As you see the overseer stand with a very familiar pistol pointed in your face. You think it's that easy? I've spent years on this. You just got kidnapped. 
I plan. You just go along for the ride. And now I'm taking you wherever I want. Um, I am going to make a ninja roll to him to try to grab the pistol and turn it on him. Pull six. Right, so, ninja roll. You got this. <laughs> you got this, Joel. If I can do it, you can do it. This is it. One. Oh, no. That's like crap. I legit thought. That tower is awfully shaky. Only had two. Two. To be clear, I don't want to allow someone to survive all yeah, of my campaigns. We know. It's fine. Ooh, it. ooh, that's so shaky. Oh, Four. I urge you to take your time. Take your time. You're too fast. And I'm so nervous. Also, yeah. Take your time. Oh, shoot. Oh! oh, no! All right. <laughs> So you run at him. You lunge for the gun ninja style. You grip it and you grip his throat in the process. He fires once and it misses you. He fires twice. It goes just into your gut, but you're still advancing. He fires three times and it hits your shoulder this time, but you're still coming at him. The fourth one catches you square in the throat. As you bleed out in his face, he looks at you and he says, you could have been saved. You topple to the ground, lifeless, as he laughs. (laughs) You tried. You tried, but you couldn't do it. Only I can create the world that I want to see. You are trash, and the true beings of this earth will rise again. And as he kicks your lifeless corpse (laughs) off to the side like a pile of trash, like something that he is done with, that is beneath him, he walks to the other side of his desk, and he starts rearranging his things. He closes the lid on the box and slides it to the side. He grabs his gold chain with the key and places it gingerly into his pocket. And as he uncorks the gun and starts reloading it, all but those last two bullets, a giant shadowy red figure rises behind him, glowing from his eyes. And that's the end. Bravo, Will. That was awesome. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. That was fantastic. Everybody, that was uh, a campaign that I wrote uh, about two hours ago. I called it Escape from Zombie Cyborg Island. Love it. I hope you had a good time. Did you guys enjoy that? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. The game is Dread. Uh, It's absolutely fantastic. It's a much bigger system than it looks. I just, uh, I hope you realize that all we did was... Really, the the decision surface making of it. Is the, yeah. the decision making is the key. Yeah. I didn't want any of them to survive. I thought Joel was gonna thought make it. Going I did too. If he made it through those six, he was gonna survive. Oh, yeah. um, it always comes so down close. to what, like, that how was. Lucky the polls are. But I I got very aggressive with polls late. I I knew I wanted that six shooter for six <laughs> polls a piece. Yeah. I like that. Uh, so that was uh, the the zombies, the nanite zombies taking over. Or at least surviving uh, a bad batch of test subjects. Uh, this has been Will Walkie on twitch.tv slash Pop Samurai Network. We're going to take a quick 10-minute break. Uh, a Halloween break. Mm-hmm. And we will be back in just a moment with some creepy-ass pasta.